Hi guys, it's Rieke and welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Rieke and I review a lot of Activerse. So if you're into that kind of stuff, you just keep watching. Also, if you're into mysteries and mystery boxes like I am, you know, I'm kind of obsessed with them, then you should just keep watching because today I have another mystery box haul. And ta-da! I mean, to be fair, the top one is not really a mystery box, but you know, this bottom two are. And if you've recently watched some of my videos, you might recognize those holographic boxes because these boxes are from not the Moana swim bikini, whatever people, but like this is from the Moana Smile Club, which is the Moana bikini activewear brand. So that's kind of like their sister brand. And because their mystery boxes work so well, they were like, oh, should we do some for activewear as well? And people were like, of course you should. And you know, of course, when I saw that they were launching them, I was like, yeah, I have to get my hands on those. And um, we do have tops and bottoms, or like tops and leggings. So they did have three different boxes, tops and then shorts and leggings. So I got leggings and tops. And I think this one is, this one's heavier. So that's probably the, the bottom box, but I don't actually know. <laughs> and I like these boxes so much because they're like so fun. They also have their little Moana bikini logo on there. But like I said, this is the Moana Smart Cup. And before I reveal what's in these boxes, I haven't actually seen it myself. We actually do have a sponsor for today's video. So I just want to quickly go and introduce the sponsor. All right, let's talk about today's sponsor. I don't know if you followed me throughout the last few months here on YouTube, but I have talked about how I move countries, how I change jobs. And I used to work at like five days a week in back in Sweden. But now since I moved, it's been really, really hard for me to find consistency in my workouts. And then I was contacted by Trainwell, formerly known as Copilot. Um, they basically have personal trainers that help you through an app. And I was like, this sounds like great timing. And um, I said, they asked me if you know, I wanted to work with them um, for a sponsored video. And I said, that yeah, that sounds great. This is perfect timing and let's do it. So I tried their, um, their personal trainers, uh, or one of them. <laughs> and basically when you start, you get a little questionnaire that asks you about your goals. And for me, my first, like my top goal was getting consistency. Um, also getting stronger again. I like being strong, you know, lifting things and just feeling good about myself. And of course, also if you have other goals like weight loss or just, you know, being healthier in, in certain ways, you can also put that in and then you get paired with a personal trainer that matches with your needs and also has availability uh, quite soon. And I got paired with Heidi, so she's my personal trainer right now. And um, for the onboarding, we had a 40 minute call uh, where we went through all the things that I want for my workouts, um, things that I want for myself. And even before we had the call, she, you know, chatted with me a little bit. So she asked me some questions, also a bit of more personal questions. So we could really like kind of get to know each other, you know, find our like groove a little bit, which was really, really nice. And yeah, on the call, we talked about like, if I want to do gym-based workouts or home-based workouts, what equipment I have at home. Because for me currently, it's really, really hard to make it to the gym. But she was super understanding and... This is also great. Like basically you can do home-based workouts. You can do gym-based workouts. And it really depends on what you feel like, what's best for you, what works for you. And currently, yeah, I cannot make it to the gym. So I'm doing at home workouts. I have a bit of equipment, but even if you don't have equipment, there's a lot of really good bodyweight exercises that they can schedule for you. So that shouldn't be a problem. And then we, of course, also talked about like how many days a week I want to work out. Um, you know, if I want my workouts to be like really tough or... Or not like what exercises do I not like how do I feel about lunges for example so we talked about all these type of things types of things and it's it was really really nice and then afterwards she made my workout schedule for me and then I could easily see it in the app so it is scheduled for the days we discussed Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday for me and um, I could click through all the exercises beforehand review them there's videos for all the exercises so that was really really nice and she also did send over some videos of her doing certain exercises when she said that most of her clients had questions about those. So that was great. And um, yeah, so then I started on my workouts and the first week um, she wanted to really get a lot of feedback from me so she could see if things needed to be changed and how it feels for me. And we did have a call after the first week to discuss, uh, you know, how things felt, if things need to be changed. For example, I had an exercise, um, a hamstring 
like curl exercise with my TRX that I have at home where I felt my calves a lot so she rescheduled a few things in that workout to make sure that it really targets what it's supposed to target and yeah we just discussed travel shot a little bit so like tried to see how I felt and it was really also great to have her there to you know schedule my workouts for me make sure I do them in the chats after every workout she was always like oh my god great job and how did it feel so she was like super engaged as well, which was really, really great and made me also feel a little bit more motivated than usual because like I've mentioned, um, or did I mention that? I don't know. But like, of course, with the move, I also lost my gym buddies. So yeah, consistency has been difficult, but it's great to have someone on your side who, you know, follows along and makes sure you do your workouts. And um, yes, yeah, so Heidi has been very great <laughs> and I'm excited to continue working with her. Um, currently I do four workouts a week and I do the same four workouts for the first four weeks and then we'll readjust so I can also evolve of course so this is something you can do with Copilot of course if you want to do gym based workouts they can also do that for you schedule that for you um, yeah per your personal trainer can do that and um, I, she also scheduled a few extra workouts for me in case I have some time on those off days so I can also get a little bit more in if I want to which is which is nice so yeah it's really, really nice that I have someone who watches to make sure that I can, that I'm con consistent with my workouts, someone who schedule, schedules workouts for me and I don't have to think about what I want to do in the gym. And um, it's been, it's been really, really great, uh, I will say. And of course, you can also try train well if you want to do so. I have a link in the description box that you can click. Um, it's trytrainwell.net slash Rike, R-I-K-E, so my name. And it'll give you a 14-day free trial of TrainWell. So then you'll be paired with your personal trainer. Um, they will make a workout schedule for you and you can start those workouts. And they can really make sure that, you know, everything is fine. Also, if you form questions, you can, you can send in some videos and you can chat and ask questions. So it's really, really personal. There's video calls, there's the chat. And it's really, really easy to reach your personal, personal trainer. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to try it, um, then just click the link in my description box. Of course, I will get a small commission if you do so. Um, but like I will say for me, it's been really, really helpful to tackle that consistency problem I had. So I've been consistent for, what is it, like two weeks now, basically, which is way more than uh, I can say for the first half of the year, basically. And... I have tried, but it's it's nice to have someone there who, you know, makes sure I do my workouts and also to have workouts scheduled with exercise that I actually really do enjoy, even though they're tough sometimes, but that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> and you can even give feedback, like if something is too tough, you can just say this is too much and your personal trainer will adjust it for you. Um, but it's good to push yourself off. Not too much, but just a little bit. Anyway, so if you want to try uh, train well, like I said, you can click the link in bio. And now let's move on to our main video all right and we're back we're moving on to those boxes like i said look at them i just i just like it i mean oh, i love those boxes can't keep them all but you know what i'll try to keep a few of them for like you know storing a few things but yeah so the moana smile club has a lot of like really really fun unique prints which is also what the moana bikini um pieces have so a lot of really fun prints unique prints colors a lot of colors which is exactly you know my thing <laughs> so and if you want to check out the recent um moana bikini haul the mystery box i'm gonna link that video up here but if you want to just check out all the um other moana bikini moana smell club things i can also link my playlist up here and you can go check that out but i'm super excited for these boxes i picked these up like two days ago i think and i i wanted to wait to open them you know, <laughs> for filming. So it's like, I should, I should, it should still be a surprise for me and for you. And um, like I said, so this one is definitely heavier. So I would think these are the leggings and this is the tops. And they also do have long sleeve tops. They have sports bras. So it could be anything in here, I guess. Um, I did get the tops in a size small and the bottoms in a size medium, which is what I did last time with their things. Haven't had, haven't had mystery boxes from them yet, but from the Smile Club. But yeah, I'm super excited. Let's see if this is the top box and let's see what we have. Like I said, lots of, lots of bright prints. So I also hope we might have some solid colors in there just to like make it easy to mix and match. But let's see, there should be three pieces in each box. And this is actually no prints at all. <laughs> so here we go. This is surprising. And I think this is definitely the top box. We have a little sticker here with the small cup i'm saying little sticker it's a pretty big sticker but let's just start with this little purple number so of course i do not know what these pieces are called so um 
with the recent bikini mystery box I went on their website and I checked it out and I will do the same thing now so I can tell you what these pieces are and if I can actually find them because sometimes they can also have sample pieces in there or unreleased pieces, new pieces, um, very old ones, that kind of stuff. So um, I'm just quickly gonna go check my phone and see if I can find out what this piece is. All right, so I did not find this color, but this is definitely their Busy Bee sports bra. So I would, I would kind of, you know, assume by the name that this is kind of like a more high support sports bra if you like, you know, you need to, you need to get stuff done and that keeps you like supported. And yeah, it comes in a few different colors, but I could not find this purple. Um, also comes in sizes extra small to triple XL. So they have a relatively wide size range, which I appreciate. And their fabric feels really, really, really nice. So this is 80% polyester and 20% spandex. Um, and we have, yeah, just a basic kind of like racerback sports bra, but like a lower scoop here in the front. You have their logo on here, their little smiley um, face thing, which is kind of, I guess, you know, yeah, just printed on there. And then we do have thicker straps. You have an elastic under the chest to keep you tucked in. And then in the back, you have that racer bag, a little bit wider. And then you also do have the logo again. And then it also says Smile Club on here. And like last time when I got stuff from them, I think it also said you could wear this as like, you know, into the water. So you probably should be able to do that here as well. I don't know if it's, I mean, I don't know if it says that specifically or not. I mean, doesn't really. Also interesting, does not say, it just says machine wash. It doesn't tell you what temperature. <laughs> but you know, it's active where I would, I would uh, go with a lower temperature for sure. But yes, so this is the Busy Bee Sports Bra. And um, I would say, let's just see it on. All right, first sports bra. So uh, this is the one in plum. And yeah, I'm currently pairing this with my joggers because I don't want to spoil the bottoms, you know, <laughs> that we're gonna get. Um, so yeah, this one is definitely like a very, very simple racer back sports bra. It feels very soft and very stretchy when you have it on, like putting it on was not an issue at all because it was so stretchy. Support wise, I would say this is like a solid medium support. Like, you're also not gonna really fall out. There's good side boob coverage. I feel also there's decent coverage up top here. Like, I'm not getting any, like, cleavage or anything, but it's not, like, too high, right? So it still has, like, that scoop neck. We have the elastic under the chest, keeping you tucked in. You have that logo there. No removal cup pads on here, but it is double lined. So yeah, you're definitely gonna see some nippage if there's nippage happening. And then in the back, just a very, very simple racer back sports bra. I personally think racer back sports bras can be a little boring, but sometimes there's also tops that have the racer back, and then it's nice to have some racer back sports bras so you can wear a sports bra underneath. So I'm not mad about it, you know. I just I just prefer a more strappy bag. But yeah, I think otherwise it's perfectly fine. Um, the color is fun because it's nice and bright, and definitely you know you can pair that easily with like a another purple or a blue or something or any bright color because I think you know just having like mixing and matching um, with colors is also fun especially when you have like brighter colors I think that works well um, but yeah very very simple nothing wrong with it not like super special or anything but very comfy fabric feels great and let's move on All right, and you know what? It would be boring if we just continued with the top, so we're gonna go into the bottom box as well and see if we can find the pieces that we can mix and match for like while going through this try on uh, try on uh, phase, I guess. <laughs> and oh, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, I think we have some matching sets and no prints. I am so surprised because they have a lot of prints, but we have. I'm just gonna pull out the. You can kind of see there's a matching color in there, right? So I'm gonna pull that one right out. Um, we also do have another sticker. And uh, I'm kind of happy there's a matching set. I'm, I love mixing and matching, but it's nice to have the option to have a matching set, I think. And with the bikinis, last time I did not have a single matching piece, which is perfectly fine, because um, some of them mix and match pretty well. But yeah, so we have a matching legging. This is definitely the exact same purple color. So I'm kind of thinking I might not be able to find it on their website, but give me a second. I will try and see, you know, if I can find it. 
and um, then we can continue talking about it. All right, I did find it, so now that makes me think uh, maybe the sports bra I was just too blind to see, I don't know. But these are the 24-7 legging right there. And I also actually appreciate now that I see this, here you can, like, you can see different model sizes, so you can, uh, you can kind of select different people. And they usually have two different people, like, with different body types, so you can kind of see what it looks like on different people with different body types. And I really appreciate that. They also do that for their swim. But yeah, so this is the 24-7 legging. This color is called Plum. And again, size range from X, uh, ranges from extra small to triple XL. And these are kind of like very basic legging, which is very, you know, very good. So you can do whatever with this. Um, fabric is probably the same, but let me check. Yes, 80% polyester and 20% spandex. We have no top seam and no front seam. A wide waistband here and then in the back you have like ever so slightly curved glute seams I hope you can see it we have our little um, emoji here the smiley uh, face in the back there and otherwise no other detailing so really really very simple which is why I guess they're called the 24 7 legging um, more of a performance material for sure so the recent pair of leggings I tried from them was very brushed but this is still very very soft just also performancey and definitely also very, very stretchy. So I got these in a size medium and it's such a fun, bright color. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see it on. Let's do it. All right, and here we have the matching leggings. So a plum and plum match up here. They're nicely high-waisted. We have no top seam, no front seam, but I kind of do wish they would have either a top seam or a little bit more compression in the waistband because right now I get like zero and it's kind of like, you know, very, very loose here. So yeah, I wish there was a little bit more compression. But also, you know, yes, I'm in between size small, medium. My waist is a little bit more small. And it's a little bit more medium. But I wouldn't have wanted to size down too small because here it fits well. You know, I feel a little bit of compression and not too much. But uh, yeah, I wish I would feel the same amount of compression up here as well. And you know, the owner of Moana Bikini and also the Moana Smell Club, she also has a little bit more of a curvy, like, you know, kind of hourglass body. So I would assume that she knows that, you know, it's good to have a tighter waistband. I don't know. <laughs> but it's just, uh, that's just what I'm thinking. But otherwise, yeah, nicely high-waisted. We have ever so slightly curved glute seams here in the back. You have a logo up top here as well. No side seam detailing. And like the leggings definitely feel very, very sleek on, which is also, I'm like, ah, they could be sliding down a little bit if there's no compression in the waist. I have to try that out. And I would also say they feel, they're, they don't feel, they are a tad short <laughs> on me. So like kind of definitely shorter, much shorter than a 7 8 length. Not a capri yet, but we're kind of getting there. So I wish they were a little bit longer. Like this is not 7 8 length at all. Um, like a good amount of you know, shorter than a 7 8 length. So yeah, this is kind of like my main complaint and then the compression that I'm kind of lacking, but uh, yeah, the shortness, you can kind of see how long a 7 8 length is because my skin is a little bit lighter <laughs> where, where I'm usually covered by my 7 8 length uh, bottoms, you know? Um, yeah, so that's that. But otherwise the color is really, really fun and it's, you know, a very simple legging. I like the feel of the fabric for sure, but yeah, I wish for more compression and a little bit more length. Let's move on.
All right, I just realized that I also teased this box to you <laughs> and I never showed you what was in there. So this was the free gift I got because, you know, the boxes aren't the cheapest because there's so many pieces in there. And yes, you still save money compared to if you bought the pieces individually, which is kind of like the fun thing about the box. Plus also you get a mystery and you might get pieces that are not available anymore or not available yet and that kind of stuff. So yeah, I don't mind. Um, but yeah, there was a free gift. And of course I was like, yeah, I'll take the free gift. So we have a massive tumbler and uh, it is it is very big. I think it's like, does it tell me? No, it probably tells you on the website, but like, look at it. It also has their logo on it. It's green with pink. Um, it has this lid that I guess you can remove somehow. Yes, here we go. And it's uh, like steel on the inside. So you have like this um, kind of like keeps it cool or warm, I guess, except for the lid won't. So it's just, you know, up top you'll still lose some heat or the warmth is going to come in. And then you have like the a little drinking hole or if you want to use your straw, you can just put that little straw part in there. And then we do have this uh, this plastic straw, but like it's like a harder plastic. So this one is going to be reusable. I, I was just imagining it's probably going to be hard to clean, but you know, I do have a little cleaning thing for that. And this one is also definitely long enough to reach the bottom of this tumbler. So yeah, I just thought, you know what, if it's free, why not? Why not take it? It's fun colors, right? I don't have something like this. Um, I know people are going crazy for all these tumblers. I personally have a water bottle and I use that water bottle, but I don't have a tumbler like this. I also sometimes use my water bottle because it's also like steel and insulated. I use that also sometimes to put tea in there, you know, but uh, I'm not like a big coffee drinker or something like that. So yeah, I use my water bottle and that's that. <laughs> but it's fun to have this, you know, and it's, I like the size because it's quite, quite big. And I'm assuming it's smaller here at the bottom to so it can fit some cup holders, but my car does not have cup holders. So, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't really care about that. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this was the free gift I got because I was over a certain value and shipping was also free. So that's always good because I care more about that than uh, the... Uh, the, the free gift but it's always nice to have a little free gift but yes yeah, so this was oh no, no I ruined my nail polish oh dear because I kind of hit this hit the bottom of this hard and I just did it <sighs> it's okay uh, anyway <laughs> but yes yeah, so this is just a little free gift and we should continue with another top so I'm just gonna pick the next one and it's this little black number like it's a tube top no uh, straps I'm uh, never sure how I feel about those for working out, but we will find out. And of course, again, I'm going to check for you what this piece is. So just give me a second. All right. So this is the Social Butterfly Tube. It's there. And this one um, is currently sold out an extra small in this color, which they call Midnight, which is black. And um, yeah, but it also goes up to triple XL again. It looks cute. But like I said, I'm always a little skeptical about strapless tops for the gym specifically. But I think you could probably also wear this as like a swim top or just like for, you know, a night out or just like some chillin'. And I mean, I've seen people work out in tube tops. Like I said, I'm just not very convinced of that as a thing. <laughs> if I work out at home, I'm sure, of course, sure, then, you know, who cares? Um, this is a slightly different fabric. So this is made from 85% polyamide and 15% elastane. But it still feels very, very performancey, very sleek, but also stretchy. We do have the little cutouts in the front that you can see here. So you definitely gonna get some cleavage or mid, mid boobage, whatever. Um, maybe not me, cause I don't really have uh, a big chest, but yes, so we have that. We also have like some layers to this. There's no removal cup pads in that, same as the first sports bra. They don't really do removal cup pads, also not in their swimwear. And we do have like these kind of wires on the side. So you have that, but we have no silicone up top or anything to keep things up. So I feel like the silicone would make me a little, feel a little bit more secure, you know, but again, we'll see when I have it on. You also, of course, just have, you know, like a very simple back here. We do have the Moana Smile Club in the back again, and also another logo in the front. And the back doesn't have any cutouts or anything, no extra seams. And um, yeah, I mean, could work, could also not work. It looks cute. I kind of want it to work but let's see it on. All right, onto this little top. Yeah, this one definitely is not gonna have any support. I'm just warning you right there. And I was so surprised to find that this, like this band here, like, or this part 
not tight at all. Like it's very, very loose. So if you have a big chest, you might get some serious underboob there. Or even if you don't, like once you start moving, you'll get some serious underboob because it's not really gonna keep you like tugged in there because it's just very loose. Otherwise, I mean, you know, the, the wires here are gonna keep you a little bit in. You also, of course, do get some like cleavage situation in between those cutouts here. And then we have the little logo there. And in the back, it's very, very simple, just like really a bandeau. But yeah, I would not trust this as, uh, you know, a workout top if I were to go to the gym. I think this is probably perfectly fine for like walking around the city, you know, uh, with a small chest, obviously, <laughs> not, not with a big chest and giving no guarantees for that there. Um, or like if you do a little at home workout maybe, but like I wouldn't do cardio in this, obviously, no jumping, you know. Maybe you can do a little bit. I'm not even sure if I would do upper body with this. I don't know. <laughs> but at home, working out, it should be fine for whatever you want. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I believe in this as a workout top. It looks cute. I like the little cutout detail. But, you know, it's not like the most functional thing. But I think that makes sense. I think you can see that when you look at it, that it's not the most functional thing, right? Like, I know there was this trend like a few months ago where everyone was like wearing bandos to the gym and you could see them do like their shoulder presses and stuff. And like every time it kind of looked like things were going to be exposed. <laughs> and I just, I just couldn't do that. I don't know. I'd just be way too nervous, like for uh, things to slip and, you know, fall down and everything. I mean, it looks cute, but I would not trust it. Let's say that. Because I feel like maybe a little bit of silicone could have, could have done something there, you know. But it's cute. Let's move on. All right, picking the next bottom. Let me see which one. Which one do I want? We have two choices left. We have a pink and an orange, and I'm just trying to. Eh, let's just do. Let's just do the top one. Why not? I don't have any reason to pick the other one. So uh, let's do this one. And this one feels slightly different than the other legging we just had. Interesting, like different fabric. So again, let me quickly check what this one is because I don't think it's the same one as the 24-7 legging. And um, yeah, just give me a second. All right, I stand corrected. This must be the 24-7 leggings. And now, of course, I forgot to look at the color name, but it was something with candy. <laughs> let me just check back. So this is cotton candy, yes. But they feel, they feel different. Like the, the material definitely feels a little different. And it is also 82, yeah, it's 82% polyester and 18% elastane. So it is different, but they're still called the same leggings. But I guess the style is the same. No front seam, no top seam. And then the curved glute seams are a little bit more intense. Maybe it's still not like super intense, but I feel like it's a little more than we had on the plum color of this. So interesting. Um, so I also saw that they only have like two different types of leggings and the other one is called the infinity legging and that, that's the one I tried last time in uh, my video. I can just link that here and that one was the brushed one but that one for sure felt different but it also had a different name but interesting that this is the same name even though the material is different. Like it's still very very stretchy, it's still very sleek but it has like a little, I don't know, it just has a slightly different feel to it. Um, I don't know how to how to explain it. It's uh, but like it definitely has a slightly different feel to it. You can you can you can feel the difference. Otherwise, very very simple. Still no side seams and also no. Uh, I don't know, no other seams. But I already mentioned that we also do only have this one logo here in the back, and that is about it. So yeah, very very simple. It's a really fun summer color. So I think I think that's at least like really really cool. You have a lot of like good basic like bright colors. Um, I was like, I was kind of expecting a little bit more print <laughs> to be fair, but you know, that's good. Like this is much easier to mix and match with things. So that's good. And let's just put these on. All right. So these are the same leggings, but like I said, material definitely feels different, but positive, a positive about this is that I feel like this has a little bit more compression in the waist. So actually like now, you know, this is perfectly fine. Like not a ton of compression, but just, just a tad more, like a little bit. Um, they're still nice and high waisted. We still don't have any front seam or any top seam. And in the back, we have the slightly curved glute seams, no side seam detailing. They are still a little short on me. There we go. You know, still shorter than a seven eighth length. I would prefer 
a little bit more length, like maybe two centimeters, an inch, kind of something like that. Um, but yeah, and this feels even sleeker. So definitely a top seam could have been maybe nice, I don't know. But like, you know, I like how high-waisted they are. They're still nice and high-waisted in the back there. And overall, I mean, it's a fun color. And yeah, I'm just confused why they, why the material is different than from the, or like than that, that of the other leggings, if they're called the same, right? So maybe they changed like manufacturers or something. And one of them is an older color and the other one is a newer color or something like that. So this is what I could picture maybe. But overall, I mean, they're otherwise very, very similar. It's just, yeah, this one has a little bit more compression in the waist, not a ton, just a little more, but let's move on. All right, and we're coming to the last piece in the top box. We have this little green number here. And this one is yet another sports bra. We have a little bit of a different strap situation, but it has straps. And let me just quickly check what this one is. All right, I think this one is the Hopscotch cross top. So this one, not this one, they look kind of similar, but it's this one, I think, in the color Honeydew, like the Honeydew Melon, I think. And again, size range is super, super wide, broad, whatever you want to call it. And this material is 85% polyamide and 15% elastane again, so like the black top. And yeah, again, no removal cup pads, but like I said, they don't really do that. Double lined though. And this one has a nice V in the front. I like a little V neckline. I also like a little high neckline, but like I also like a little V neckline. We do have a little elastic under the chest, the logo here again, then these thicker straps that are stretchy but not adjustable, and they do crisscross in the back here. And then you again, of course, have that little Moana Smile Club written on there with that logo again, and otherwise very, very open bag. And this one looks like a nice like little strappy sports bra, and like I said, I really like the, the, the V in the front. I think that's gonna look cute. The color is also fun, it's not like the brightest color, but it's still like a spring summer color, right? And like if you pair it with like another bright color or something, I think that's gonna look really good. And let's see it on. All right, another comfy sports bra. Like the, when I put this on, I was like, oh, this material feels nice and stretchy again. Support wise, I would say definitely more of a light support, maybe light to medium. Um, and you're nicely, or I'm nicely tucked in here. So yes, we have this nice V and I think that looks quite cute, but I don't get a ton of cleavage from it. We have really, really good side boob coverage. You have the elastic under the chest. Again, no removable cup pads, but it is a double lined fabric. Um, you'll still see some nippage, but you know, it's double lined. So that's, that, that has to be good enough. And then short lined here as well. And in the back, the crisscross straps here. Nice and open back still, so you can kind of show off those back muscles, right? And overall, like, st simple, but cute. So I think out of the three bras we saw, this was definitely my favorite. Um, because, yeah, like, the racer back is a little boring. The bandeau I definitely wouldn't wear to the gym, but, like, this one, I mean, for sure. And it's comfy. Like, yes, it has the elastic under the chest, but it's still super comfy, and the material feels good. It's sleek. Um, it's going to be sweat wicking, performance material, and, you know, can't complain about this one, for sure. I think it's nice. I like it. And, um, yeah, so they do have all the different styles and, like, different colors. So, you know, if you're like, oh, I like the style of the sports bra, but I don't like the color, or I like the color, but I want a different style, you can usually do that. Um, but this one's cute. Let's move on. All 
All right, and last but not least, we have a little orange number here. I'm just gonna take the sticker out now, but I don't even know where I put it back. <laughs> and I think this is probably, because it feels performancey and not rushed, this is probably gonna be another of these 24 seven leggings. So let's see. It feels different again. So this definitely feels different than the cotton, candy, cotton candy. Oh my God, cotton candy. It's, such a, it's not a hard word. No. Definitely feels more like the plum color again, not like the cotton candy one. And if I look at the material, it is again, yeah, 80% polyester and 20% spandex. So again, back to that um, same plum color thing, but I love this color. Like it's such a fun, bright orange. And let me just quickly check if I can figure out what the name of this orange is. So yes, this orange is just called peach. I mean, I personally think peaches are a little less bright than this, but that's perfectly fine. But again, another 24 seven legging here. Um, you know, that's perfectly okay. We have, again, no front seam, no top seam, slightly curved glued seams in the back. You know, I feel like this again looks, yeah, looks back to that um, style that we had with the plum color and we do have a little logo here in the back again, no side seams that I probably just said. And it's stretchy, it's performancey, and um, overall, it's a really fun color. And let's see it on. All right, this color is so fun. Like, look at it, it's so bright. Like, it's, it's really fun. I think it also still works with the green. Um, so these are, as expected, back to the feel of the plum color, so the purple leggings. And that also means, yes, we have a nice high-waisted waistband here. It is no top seam, no front seam, but like less compression again here in the waistband, um, just like we had in the first one. So I feel like that would be, it would be nice if, you know, there was a little bit more compression here. Like I feel like, you know, there's a little bit of too much space basically. Um, no side seam detailing, ever so slightly curved glute seams in the back here. I don't know if you can see them, but um, they should be there because <laughs> we saw them, right? And then again, a little too short. I feel like the pink ones were also a little longer than this. So this is definitely like the exact same thing as the purple one, which is, I mean, what I would expect if it's the exact same style, just in a different color, right? But I would say out of like fit wise, the pink ones fit me the best, but like, I think this might be my favorite color of them all. So yeah, I'm a little conflicted, but uh, you know, I'll try to wear these for a workout or so, keep you updated on how that feels and if they stay put or not. Because, yeah, I have like a suspicion they're going to slide down a little bit on me. <laughs> so I think that might happen. Um, yeah, but I think the color is very, very fun. Like, it's definitely like a summer color. Let's move on. All right, it's conclusion time. Let's just look at that little pile of color. I'm really, really happy that I got so many fun colors. I'm like the tiniest bit disappointed that there was not a single print in there because they have so many fun prints, but it's fine because we got the fun colors. And it's also super weird that I got the exact, or well, not the exact same legging because like I said, the pink one felt definitely different than the other two, but like on paper, they're supposed to be the exact same legging that I got those you know, the same legging three times, basically, <laughs> just in different colors, but hey, they're fun colors, so it's, it's all good. And I like that I got to try a few different sports bras from them. I hadn't tried any of those sports bras, nor had I tried the legging before, because um, the other time when I got a sports bra, it was like a single, like one strap, basically. And then I also had a long sleeve top from them and then the leggings, basically, that were the other leggings that they do. And yes, they also have shorts in some of those really fun colors. 
but I'm more of a legging person than a short person, which is why I decided to just get the legging box and not the short box. I hope that makes sense for you. But yes, you can go and check and see if they still have the mystery box. I don't know for how long they will do it, but you know, they also might bring those back occasionally. I think it's it's taken them like two years since I don't even know when was the last time I did, when was the first time I did the Moana bikini mystery box haul and the other one was just recently. So I think there was definitely some time in between. But I love a good mystery box and it's always a surprise. You never know what you're gonna get. And if it's gonna mix and match, I mean, I'm happy I had a matching set in here, but also I feel like those colors can kind of like, you know, you can kind of mix and match a little bit as well. And yeah, let me know what you thought. What was your favorite piece um, or your favorite color? Cause we had so many different ones. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram and you can support me there. You can also DM me there. But I'm way more likely to see your comments here on YouTube. So if there's anything you want me to, you know, know, or if there's any feedback you want to give me, drop a comment down below. So yeah, if you've ever ever have any feedback, any suggestions, also for new brands, if you know where I can get more mystery boxes, you know, activewear or swimwear, <laughs> uh, I'm totally here for it. You know what? Recently, I actually also got like a mystery gift. <laughs> so we went to this uh, small Finnish town by the by the. It wasn't exactly by the coast, but like, um, it had like a nice church and a little river flowing through that was gonna go to the to the sea basically and um, this one little store had like gifts so it was like wrapped and I think it was like two euros or something and I was like sure I'll take one and then it turned out to be a salt shaker in shape of a dog so cute <laughs> and I'm actually like you know kind of I feel like I don't really have that many salt shakers I have one and uh, I don't actually know where it is right now because it's in some box, but uh, you know, so I was kind of happy about this. It was very cute. And for two years, that's like, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And it was also wrapped in cloth and that cloth you can also use for stuff. Um, but yes, yeah, so I like, I like a good mystery box, also a good mystery book, but uh, you know, mystery boxes for sure. And um, yeah, do let me know if you know of any more that could be of interest to me. <laughs> Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this entertaining. I hope you find it fun to like unbox those mystery boxes with me and see what's in there. And yeah, do let me know if you have any feedback or any suggestions or anything. And otherwise, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.